In previous videos, we've seen examples of how we can combine PDFs together and how we can split them apart, as well as how we can add or remove individual pages in a PDF. We're going to continue along this same line in this video by looking at ways to extract sections of our document and methods for replacing pages in our document with updated content. We're working with guidecomplete.pdf, which is located in the working files. This is a 12 page document. And if we open the pages panel, we can see the thumbnails of all the pages included within this document. What we're going to want to do is to extract some of these pages. In this case, we see that the egret section starts on page 3, and we know that it runs down to page 6. So what we can do is to choose this section, 4 pages, by clicking on page 3 and then shift-clicking on page 6. And then we'll head over to the Tools panel in the Pages category. And here we'll select Extract. When we choose this, we can see that the selection we made here on the left is already active within the Extract Pages dialog box, and the pages are already selected from page 3 to 6. We can change this if we want. We're going to extract these pages to a file, and we have the option here to delete the pages from our original document after they're extracted. We don't want to remove them from this document, so we'll leave this unchecked for this example. We'll extract and create a new file, but these pages will remain intact here in our original PDF. When we extract the pages, we have here an option to create a separate file for each page, or with this option deselected, we create one single file with the multiple pages included. We'll go ahead and leave that deselected and click OK, and here's our document. As you can see, we have four pages. We'll fit the page and scroll through, and here are all the pages that we asked to be extracted. Notice the document has the default name, Pages from Guide Complete. But be aware, this file has not been saved. If we click on Save, we have the option to give the file a new name. We'll put it here on the desktop, and we'll call it Egrets, since that's the selection that we extracted. We'll click on Save, and now we have a new PDF consisting of just the four pages that we selected for extraction from our original larger document. We'll close that and go back to Guide Complete. Within the Pages panel, we have the same capability to extract by right-clicking here on the page thumbnail or control-clicking on a Mac. And here within the Context menu, you see Extract Pages, and selecting that brings us back to the same dialog box. So this allows us to take sections of a large document, break them out, and to create separate smaller files from just the parts of a document that we choose. We can also choose to replace pages within our document. For example, let's say that we've been working with this document, Guide Complete, and we're nearly ready to publish it. Then we find out that there's a new version of page 12 that's available with an updated image. Now with the tools we've already seen, we could insert the new page 12 from a file and then delete the old page, but there's a simpler way. We can choose to replace this page without modifying the rest of the document. We can choose Replace from the Pages category here in the Tools panel, and we'll get a File Selection dialog box. We can navigate to the Working Files in the Chapter 5 folder, and we'll choose YCNHUpdated.pdf, which is Yellow Crown Night Heron Updated. And we'll click on Open, and we'll see the option to replace pages. Notice that we can replace more than one page at a time, but in this case, we'll choose to replace only page 12, since the new page 12 is just a single page. We click on OK, and we're asked to confirm the update. When we do, we can see our updated page 12 with the new image, and we're ready to go to press with our updated file. So extracting and replacing pages, two more capabilities to allow us to update and modify our PDFs by moving content around between various sources. As we continue to build our toolbox, we find more and more flexibility, enough to accommodate almost any workflow.